may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, share, subscribe, like this video, make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. Today is the 10th, there's a lot of stuff going on in the news, and we're trying to keep you updated on everything that's happening with Israel and Iran, and that is heating up, and not only that, but what's in NATO is heating up also with them in Russia. This, the escalation just keeps going on day by day. Now I noticed that there was a major drop off from the day of the eclipse to yesterday. I figured that was going to happen because people just can't stay interested in God every day for some reason. I don't know what, why or what's going on. But in these days, you're just you're glad to be able to reach a few that are watching every day for Jesus to come back. It just proves that people only want to watch for him on days that they think. But Jesus is coming. You're supposed to watch every day. And keep yourselves updated so we can get as many people on that ark as possible. Now it says Israel is ready to attack the Iran nuclear sites, which we kind of figured that was coming. It says if Tehran, Tehran responds to Damascus embassy attack by bombing Israel, West Jerusalem will launch strikes against the Ar Irani nuclear program. According to the news, the Arab language uh, online outlet operating there in UK, Israel has been training pilots to strike sensitive sites in Iran, which might be involved in Tehran's nuclear program. Now, the report has pick, been picked up by the uh, tabloid Sun, which posted a list of possible Israel targets ranging from the Iran uh, heavy water reactor and the Bashir nuclear power station to the Ganshin uranium mine and the not says uranium enrichment facility. The Sun noted that the Israel attack on any of them would mark an unprecedented escalation in the Middle East conflict. The U.S. will remain supportive of Israel and provide it with all the support, weapons, and equipment needed for the mission, the source told. Aleph U.S. President Joe Biden has assured Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu that Washington will stand with Israel. Uh, in all circumstances, and that's not true because they've already pretty much started trying to undermine them. Israel's defense force has already canceled all leave and began supporting GPS signals and spoofing GPS signals. So they're already starting to block it in preparation for a possible Iran's uh, reprisal. Several U.S. media outlets citing American intelligence sources have reported that Tehran intended to use ballistic missiles kamikaze drones to strike Israel's infrastructure once the Islamic holy month of Ramadan is over, which today is the first day it's over. Be certain, be sure, the Iran response is targeting the consulate of D Damascus is definitely coming against Israel, Hezbollah leader has said on Friday. CNN, on the other hand, has cited anonymous American spies who said Iran was unlikely to strike directly out of fear of the U.S. and Israel retaliation and will rely on various proxies. So we'll see in the next coming hours. That's for sure. Now, this uh, video for us is uh, dead Israeli commandos from, uh, from a murderous ambush by Hamas. For the first time, Israel was hit by a ballistic missile attack from Iraq. So this came from Iraq. Israel was attacked with multiple Iran or Irani ballistic missiles from other sources that come out of Iraq. According to Israel sources, the Islamic resistance in Iraq released a video of ballistic missile launches from mobile platforms against uh, Ashkan and Bisherbi there in Israel. Uh, this took place in the last 72 hours. It is also known that the launches were successful. 
But the fact is that Iran has moved ballistic systems to Iraq is a particular concern for Israel. Israel soldiers killed in Hamas ambush in Gaza. Al Jazeera released the video yesterday. Citing Hamas official, Al Jazeera reported that it took 50 days to prepare this deadly ambush. A Hamas officer added that they could not be caught on camera was bigger. The Hamas official that uh, what could not be caught on camera was bigger and more deadly than what was shown on the videos, what they'll say, which is probably garbage. The Israel Army official announced the death of four soldiers in the ambush. It says, let's see, the four commandos died in Saturday in the Gaza, the, the Israel military statement says. The Israel uh, Army announced in the early hours of the morning that it was, that it, it used for the first time the new Sea Dome anti-aircraft defense system, the naval version of the Iron Dome type anti-missile shield to deal with suspicious aerial objects that uh, violated the airspace. Last Monday night, the Israel Army spoke of an alert of, in the sector of Elliot, a city in the southern tip of Israel, which has been a target of ballistic missiles in, intercepted in, on Friday by the, uh, the Yemen Houthis aligned, uh, aligned with the uh, Palestinian Islamic movement Hamas. After the siren sounded there in Elliot, regions due to the incursion of enemy air systems, the naval force detected a suspicious aerial target, and I actually got this uh, warning on my phone. The target was successfully intercepted by the dome system. The military said the in a statement assuring that it had received no information about no injuries or no damage. Asked about the AFP, the Israel Army did not specifically specify whether to su the suspicious aerial system was a dome or a missile, or a drone or a missile. However, it is confirmed that it was the first operational use of the sea dome. The missile defense system is a maritime version of the iron dome system, and I watched it in a video, and it seems pretty awesome. The sea dome is installed on the Israel SAR-6 class corvettes built in Germany and already been tested. The Israel military has invested in this technology in recent years to protect particular large gas fields in the Mediterranean. So that's a pretty neat little system they got there. That Iron Dome system is like nothing I've ever seen. It says Israel is conducting Air Force drills in preparation for a strike on the Iran nuclear facilities in a scenario that could blow the Middle East wide open. It says Israel is preparing to strike Iran nuclear plants if faced with a revenge attack on the death of the uh, Tehran commander last week. Lots of news is coming out of the Middle East these days, and none of it's good. Israel's recording, uh, according to the reports, the side of LF News, there has been conducting Air Force drills to uh, for a retaliatory attack on Iran to destroy their nuclear facilities. Netanyahu may be considering this because when you consider position as he is right now. It says, I think that taking out Iran's nuclear facilities should have been done 10 years ago. You remember that Russia built the reactors for them. The thing that helped Iran in the most and uh, Iran the most was having the full support of the president, Barack Obama, who gave the terrorist state everything they wanted in the infamous nuclear treaty of 2015, where in 2024, the whole thing is a mess. Yeah, he created a lot of things that are a mess now, like the end of the world. Israel preparing to strike Iran nuclear facilities amid tense wait for revenge attack for soaring WW3 fears. From the LF News, Netanyahu's war cabinet has been locked into crunch meetings over fears. Iran will launch an assault on the Middle East ten uh, tensions threatening to boil over all over the for all out war. Now, a Western security officer official has revealed that Israel will respond to any attack by striking Iran's nuclear targets directly. Israel forces have been conducting Air Force drills in preparation for this. Iran is home to several nuclear sites, including power plants, uranium mines, and re research facilities. A, then a target against one of those of them could mark an unprecedented escalation, which we all know is coming. We're waiting for it. Israel has been conducting secret Air Force training drills in the last couple of days. It says, Tehran's embassy, a Syrian capital, Damascus, was destroyed in 
what we knew happened last week. It says, Now the end begins in the front of line of defense against the rising tide of darkness in the last days before the rapture of the church. And that is very true. That's what we're seeing right now unfold before our very eyes. Now, it says here, Turkey starts trade war with Israel over Gaza aid refusal, increasing tensions between the two nations. Now, we know Turkey plays a big role with Russia and the Gog and Magog war. So now I've told you, this is literally Turkey and Russia has never gotten along. Never. And now all of a sudden it's like they're on and off, on and off, on and off. But secretly, Erdogan is definitely in bed with Russia. He is. He hates the Jews and he hates Israel, which a lot of people do these days. Like we said, the whole world's turned against them. The Turkish government announced on Tuesday that this would impose trade restrictions on Israel, on Israel in response to Israel's denial of the Turkish request to join airdrops. So you can't trust Turkey for sure, and Israel knows that. On Monday, Turkish Foreign Minister Fadan announced that his country would unveil in its response to Israel's denial of the humanitarian aid drops but did not specify what response would entail. There can be no excuse for Israel's prevention of airdropping aid to starving Gaza. Well, the reason they're doing that with Turkey because Turkey's been threatening them. So I don't blame them. I wouldn't let Turkey near my airspace either. Biden also said that the measures would continue until Israel declares a ceasefire, which is not coming. They just can't seem to get that through their ignorant heads. On Tuesday, the Turkish foreign minister announced export restrictions for 54 products, including construction materials such as cement, steel, and iron, as well as jet fuel. In response to the announcement of the trade restrictions, Israel's foreign minister, uh, Katz, ordered that the economic division of the forced, uh, foreign minister to prepare an extensive list of products that Israel will prevent Turkey from exporting to Israel. Turkey is uh, utterly violating the trade agreements with Israel, and Israel will take all necessary measures against it, they said there in the foreign ministry. The statement went on to say that Israel would ask its friends in America, Congress, to examine Turkish violations of the boycott laws against Israel and impose sanctions accordingly. Amid increasingly hostile statements, the Turkish president over the last past few years, Turkish imports of Israel have been declining. Erdogan has uh, maintained friendly relations with Hamas leadership over the years. Now, he hates the Jews, and he don't make no secret of it. Erdogan's ruling Islamic party suffered several setbacks during the multiple elections in the nations uh, last month and has faced pressure from elements within the country to halt trade with Israel. After the outbreak of the war with Gaza, imports declined over 28% from beginning to before beginning to recover, according to Bloomsburg, Turkey is the fifth largest importer to Israel. I mean, a trade war between the two nations would be significant impact on both. Katz accused Turkey of harming its citizens through its support of Hamas. Erdogan is once again sacrificing the economy, in, uh, the economic interest of the people of Turkey for the support of Hamas. And he's been doing that over, over and over and over again. He's been actually been doing it for years says, Israel warns we will attack Iran if Iran takes us on our territory. So it's just story after story today, we're getting the same thing that this war is escalating. Israel's foreign minister issued a warning on uh, Wednesday that Israel would launch a direct attack on the Islamic Republic of Iran. In its post on X, Israel's foreign minister said Katz addressed the leader of Iran and in both Hebrew and Persian, State if Iran attacks the territory, Israel will respond to attack on Iran. Many Iran officials, including the top people, have threatened to attack Israel since last uh, the strike that happened there in Damascus. Since then, Iran state outlets have continued to broadcast threatening messages to Israel, including the infamous uh, infographics of uh, Iran's army as uh, different missiles with ranges capable of reaching Israel. On Wednesday, the official X account had published two hostile statements against Israel. May God curse the up uh, uh, the Zionist regime, which only uh, didn't stop the massacre of women, children, and defense, defenseless people during the month of Ramadan, but even intensifies its killing. Shortly after, there was another ex-posting said, when the Zionist regime attacks Iran's consulate in Syria, 
it had attacked uh, Iran's soil. The malicious regime had um, made a wrong move, and it should be punished. Israel's Defense Minister Glant held the operational assessment last Sunday in light of the anticipated Iran escalation and stated that the defense uh, establishment has completed its preparation for a response against any scenario. The enemy has been severely damaged in all places and therefore is looking for ways to respond. We are prepared with multi-layered defense, Gallant said. Israel's official response to the numerous Iran threats at first concentrated on calming the public and assuring a strong defense against possible attacks. However, Katz commented in a signal a new policy of deterrence. On Tuesday, the Arab language site Alifa, uh, I think that's how you say it, reported that Israel is preparing to strike the nuclear sites. Now, let's, let's break this down into a scenario, brothers and sisters. Let's say, and we do believe, that Iran does strike Israel in the next couple of hours. Is it going to be really bad? No, God's going to protect Israel. That's We know this. But then that's going to send F-35 jets from Israel into Iran striking nuclear sites, which is going to bring more pressure against the Jews from everybody around, which the Bible tells us every nation will drop them. We're already seeing that now around the world and around all these countries. That is prophecy. Once again, another prophecy. You know, a lot of people, after the eclipse went by, they said, okay, we're done. Okay, you know, we're not doing this no more. We're not watching. And that's the first mistake. Now, we've said it but two weeks before the eclipse, what the eclipse was going to bring, and that was judgment. And it's going to start to roll out. And we, you need to keep your eyes open right now more than ever and be watching the watchmen around the world because right now, it don't matter how little the story is, it's all leading to judgment. Trust the gospel, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future, he died and was buried and rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. You know, we live in a society that attention spans only have like three minutes. And we live in a world that's collapsing by the moment and people don't want to see it or do they care. But right now is not a time to take your eyes off Jesus. I will tell you that. Israel is the key. As I've said over and over, I do believe the heifers have already been sacrificed. Many don't, but you can tell pretty much they have just by what's happening around the world. You just got to look. They don't even care. They don't look. They just, they assume. There's too many signs and people are seeing too many things. There was somebody that saw the 1002, and they didn't know what that meant. Uh, and they said it to Ken Fisher, and I didn't know what the 1002 meant. I had to look it up. Now, remember, months and months ago, something very bizarre happened to me. I, I dreamed, and this is the boy, I'll never forget this dream. It was like nothing. And there's no way it's, it was mine, out of my carnal mind. If anybody says that, they're nuts. Because in my dream, I was getting a ticket to heaven, and the ticket number was 5784. Now, I didn't know what that number was. I had no clue. Until five hours later when I woke up, Brother Aaron told me the answer to that. It's not coincidence that I dreamed it, and he told me what it was. That was the year. It started in September. This is the year. 5,784. That ends, get this, on 10-2 of this year. Don't think God's talking. Oh, he's talking. People just ain't listening. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters from every color, every background around the world, it's going to get crazy. Right now, it seems to be a little dull because we just had this eclipse and everybody's like, oh, nothing happened. Oh, there was plenty happened. They just, they don't, they're not looking. They was expect, I don't know what they was expecting to happen. Listen, God warned me about that eclipse five times before it happened. So there was a lot of things happened that we don't even know that happened. But people today, they've got to have, to, they have, to have it handed to them. I don't understand it. They're just lazy. I don't know. But they got to have everything handed to them. 
They don't go out and do the work, the research, to look, to see what all this stuff is. But there was plenty happened on that day. But people just, if the media don't tell it to them, it didn't happen. And it's a sad, sad world that we live in right now. That if they don't have the mainstream media tell them something, ah, eh, well, it didn't happen. And they believe these people. But see, you that are truly awake, you know what's happening. And you know these are lies. And we're being fed a bunch of them. It's not easy to find the news anymore, people. Let me tell you something. It's hard. You have to dig and dig and dig to find news anymore. Trust the blood of Jesus. Because we don't have much more time. If you're out there, call upon him in these last moments. Because we just don't have much more time. If this goes down, and I do believe it'll go down before this day's out, I do believe something will happen. These t God gave me that 10 days ago. And I was like, what in the world happened on the 10th? And this was before the eclipse. So I know he's going to be here after the eclipse because he already gave me the 10 before the eclipse. You know? So I already knew he was still going to be here because I, I listened. The one thing about me, I'm not certain on everything. But God knows he can tell me anything and I'll listen. He told me the 10 before the eclipse was even here. I think he told me that on like Saturday or Sunday before the eclipse. So I knew he was going to be here after the eclipse. I've told you guys that. I'm like, there's other things that we've seen that hasn't come to pass yet. He's told too many people too many things that have not happened yet. You just got to have patience. Trust me, I know everybody wants out of here. I do too. But you got to listen and know these things are coming. Because if not, now a lot of people got mad. And I told you this is going to happen. They're going to get mad and angry because they didn't leave on that day. And we told everybody, you're not going to be leaving on that day. But they didn't want to hear it. And here we are. Now a lot of people's mad and angry and they've quit watching. And you can't be like that either. Listen, we are in the most important time in human history. You've got to be paying attention to all the signs. We've got to get as many people on the ark as possible. You know, it's like people can't pay attention if the sky is not on fire. I don't know why. I don't know if they, it's just, they'll just get bored. I don't know. But I've never been too bored to watch for Jesus every day. I don't know why people are so bored of watching for Jesus. Because Jesus is coming. That's what you're supposed to be out here doing every day is watching for him. And if you're not watching what we're putting out and all this other stuff, you're not going to be aware of all this stuff that's coming. Because they're not going to put it on Fox or MSNBC or CNN. They're not going to tell you. And let me tell you something. There's some scary stuff coming. We tell you not to fear it because you don't need to because you got Jesus. But these people are behind some really bad things that they're trying to do. Now, God's going to stop it because he's going to take the church out of here. But you got to be paying attention. God only knows what they truly did on, on that eclipse day for God to warn me five times. But I'm sure it wasn't good. We still don't know if CERN opened a hole and it's still open. NASA fired three rockets into that thing. We don't know what that was for. They didn't tell us. They was doing a lot of things on that day. And people's like, oh, nothing happened. See, everything's fine. They have no clue what they're even talking about. People that say that, you usually can tell they don't have any idea what they're talking about. Because there was plenty happened that day. People just didn't want to see it. Right now, people just keep watching Jesus. We're going to keep you updated on everything that's going on with Israel right now. Because that right there is the most important story going on right now. Because everybody's turned against Israel, and I believe whatever happens here is going to turn even more people against them. And it's just fulfilling Bible prophecy. That's what this is. It all leads to the Antichrist, all of it. Even what's happening in NATO, it all leads to the Antichrist. The third temple's already on its way. Everything's set. And the rapture of the church is the next event. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven.
thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube, letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep, those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.